Due to the absence of Dalton Gibson, his part will be played by Dana Dobbins. So this is me in the Danish's video about tuberculosis. One of the main symptoms of tuberculosis is coughing. I think you have tuberculosis. You lies! Another symptom is loss of appetite. You want a goldfish? No, thank you. I'm full. I think you have tuberculosis. Lies! Yet another symptom of tuberculosis is night sweats. I'm really sweating and it's like in the middle of the night. I think you have tuberculosis. You lie! <gasps> another tuberculosis symptom is weight loss. Wow, you look really skinny. I think you've lost some weight. I know, I do look awesome, don't I? I think you have tuberculosis. <laughs> lies! <laughs> another symptom of tuberculosis is fatigue or feeling weak. I feel so weak and fatigue like <laughs> I think you have tuberculosis. You lie! <laughs> and the final symptom of tuberculosis is that you get chills. Back in the 1800s, when people got tuberculosis and they were unsanitary, like a lot of us here at school, I see you, but anyways, they, they, the people when they needed surgery to get rid of the tuberculosis and, and most of the people, they, uh, they didn't have sanitary instruments, so that's how it spread through people, and to let the people heal and get better, they would perform surgery on the person and they were they would remove two to three ribs to let the lung have room to heal. And five out of six people wouldn't make it. I know it's sad, huh? Yeah, it's really sad. I bet it is Danish, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You want me to stop the camera now? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, the most cost-effective plan to prevent the spread of tuberculosis when it just mostly spreads around people who laugh a lot, like um, us and our friends, our very, very weird friends. Um, it spreads by breathing, coughing, sneezing, and other things, because it, like, the droplets, when it, com it comes out of your mouth and nose when you sneeze and cough, like, it, people breathe it in, and then if you had tuberculosis, they get it, it just keeps on going, and then, yeah. So me and Danish right here, Danish say hi. Um, we've we've come to a decision that it would just be better if we all stop breathing. Maybe it'll just stop tuberculosis just dead in its tracks. Okay. Still going. <laughs> Hello, it's me and quote unquote move your legs, Dana. Um, <laughs> Dalton. No. Okay, so just the the most common places in the world that you would probably find tuberculosis um would probably be in Africa, Southern Africa. <laughs> Southern Africa, um, Northern Africa. And Australia and all of those places with the, 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 the... <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to ignore that, okay? And it just, since the people, they don't have very sanitary water, people could sneeze in it and just... And then it's moist. <laughs> the water is moist. And so it can just, it sticks to some of the mud and and then it just multiplies and multiplies, and then a lot of people there, they would just... <laughs> they would get the disease, and then it just starts spreading and multiplying and multiplying and multiplying until everybody's dead. Death. Thank you, Dalton. <laughs> the most common victim to get tuberculosis was...
would be what are you staring at? Elderly people. Elderly people and people with HIV. And yeah. I don't mean to sound happy about that because eventually, you know. <sighs> I'm just going to stop there. So the most common people to get tuberculosis would be people, elderly people, and people with HIV. Okay, thank you.